my name is Karen Puss, and I will tell Stephen King's story called Misery. I'm your number one fan, said Annie, but F those words. There was Paul laying on the bed thinking how he got in this situation. Did he deserve it? Well, if you want to hear about it, the first thing you will ask yourself is who Paul is. Every time Paul was about to finish one of his books, he used to drive his 65 miles into Silver Creek, Nevada. The road was icy. A, a blizzard changed his plans. Crash! He opened his eyes and in terrible pain saw any workers. She rescued him once the car went upside down. But nope, it was not a coincidence that Annie was there. But Paul didn't know that. Paul thought maybe Annie was just a big fan of his work. Annie asked Paul, if she could read that untitled novel of his that was in his bag, Paul gladly accepted. Dirty bird, she screeched. Oh, you dirty bird, how could you? You murdered her. I didn't kill her, answered Quick Paul. After all, his life was on the line, and Mr. Chastin was dead, and Annie was on a rampage. Annie decided it was not a good moment to be around Paul. So, determined to get another finale, she improvised a little study of her and gave Paul an old male typewriter. Paul was writing for his life. Once he finishes this mystery story called Mr. Returns, it's game over for him. Memory Lane, a scrapbook that seemed innocent at first. Here comes the old saying, don't judge a book by its cover. That book chronicles at least 30 murders done by Annie, including those in a neonatal ward that almost finishes her career as a nurse. Paul's car is found by the Colorado State Police. The, a police officer arrived at Annie's and Paul caught his attention, but sentenced the police officer's death. The tension between his number one fan and Paul was palpable. He calls Annie to the room. Paul, are you really done? Well, he called back. I did the best I could, Annie. Wow, oh great gee, I can hardly believe it. After all this time, I'll get a champagne. Fine. Paul shocks Annie by appearing to burn the final manuscript that she hasn't read yet, that includes the final, and attacks her with the heavy manual typewriter, and finally chokes her with the burned pages of the novel. The officers, hours later, arrive at Annie's and there was Annie that and called traumatized for life. The end.